Hey there, this is Sarah from Searchcraft. While using our keyword research tool, if you ever wondered, am I doing this right or had questions like, what does this button do or how do I save these keywords? This is the video that you've been looking for. In this video, I'll walk you through each and every feature you can find in Searchcraft's keyword research tool so that you can unlock its full potential. Whether you're a Searchcraft old-timer or new joiner, be prepared to discover new things about our keyword research tool even if you thought you already knew it inside out. Let's get started. First up, here we are in the Keyword Research Tools main dashboard. In the main dashboard, you'll see your most recent searches here. Clicking on one will relaunch the keyword research for that keyword. Clicking on View All History here will show your full search history. Similarly, clicking on any will relaunch the keyword research. You can delete a specific search by clicking on this trash button here. To start your keyword research, choose your location and language here and input your seed keyword here. Then click on Research Keyword. Then you'll be taken to this page. Let's go through everything that's on the screen. Clicking on this takes you to the Content Writer where it automatically creates a document for your seed keyword. This panel shows you the data overview of the seed keyword and all related keywords. This is the Export button where you can export your keyword research in CSV, PDF, or copy to clipboard. At the top here is the keyword data for your seed keyword. This allows you to search for specific keywords from the pool of related keywords. Checking this long tail checkbox filters for long tail keywords. This toggles on the advanced search filter, which you can set here. And this is the save to project feature. We'll go over all these features in more depth later. This table lists all of the related keywords to your seed keyword along with their metrics. On the right here are the sub analyzer and topic clusters. Now, let's go through the related keywords table here and what each keyword data means. On the left of each keyword is the user intent, also known as search intent. The user intent is the purpose of a user's search query, why they're looking up for this keyword and what their end goal is. For example, what do you think the user intent is when someone searches for the term best laptop deal? You guessed it, they want to buy a laptop. So this is an example of a transactional keyword. There are four types of user intent. Informational keywords are keywords that people use to seek information and answers. Examples are queries like how to do keyword research or what is keyword research. Transactional keywords are keywords that people use when they're looking to purchase something. Examples are queries like iPhone 14 price or cheap flights to Bali. Local keywords are keywords that people use to look for information, products or services within a specific location. This can be keywords like dentist near me or best pizza in NYC. Navigational keywords are keywords people use to look for a specific website or page. Examples are Facebook login and YouTube. Understanding and satisfying user intent is a crucial part of keyword research. You want to make sure that the keywords you choose aligns with your target audience intent. For example, if you're creating educational content targeting people looking for answers, then you should go for informational keywords. This ensures that you create targeted and relevant content that satisfy your target audience needs resulting in improved user experience and overall SEO performance. Moving on, Trend shows you the trend of the search volume for the last 12 months. Generally, you want to go for keywords with a stable or increasing trend. Volume is the current monthly search volume of the keyword. Simply, how many people are looking up for this keyword every month. So your best bet is to go for more popular keywords with substantial search volume. Keyword difficulty is a measure of how difficult it is to rank for this keyword, which is determined by analyzing the top 10 pages. The higher the keyword difficulty, the tougher it is to rank for it, so you want to aim for lower keyword difficulty. Opportunity score is a proprietary Searchcraft metric that processes important keyword data and tells you which keywords have the best potential. However, do note that a keyword's opportunity score is relative and will fluctuate if it's grouped with other keywords. Ultimately, the opportunity score is there to help you prioritize the best keywords from a list of keywords. These two metrics are for Google Ads. CPC is cost per click and comp is competition. If you're looking into Google Ads and pay-per-click campaigns, these two will be relevant for you. Next, let's go over the sort feature. If you click on any metric header, it sorts the keyword list accordingly. Clicking once sorts it in increasing order, twice in decreasing order, and a third time removes the sorting. Click on the keywords header to sort by alphabetical order. If you want to know which keywords are getting the most traffic, you can sort by volume. If you want to know which keywords are the easiest to rank for, sort by keyword difficulty. 
Of course, you can choose to sort by volume or keyword difficulty, but it can be tricky trying to balance between these two metrics. Typically, keywords with higher search volume will consequently have higher keyword difficulty. So the easiest way is to sort by opportunity score, which already takes into account different keyword metrics and tells you which keywords are the best to target. Basically, it does the thinking for you so you don't have to. Next, here's a few features you might miss if you didn't know they existed. If you hover over any keyword, you'll see these three icons here. This is the copy button. Clicking on this copies the keyword to clipboard. This is the start writing button. Click on this to start writing for this keyword in the content writer. And this is the keyword research button. Click on this to launch a separate research for this keyword as the C keyword. Next, let's go over long tail keywords, which are highly specific search queries consisting of more than four words. Check this box here to filter and show only long tail keywords. Long tail keywords are really awesome because 1. They're easier to rank for because they have less competition compared to broad keywords. And 2. They have higher conversion rates. Search users using long tail keywords are further along the buying cycle and hence are more likely to convert. Because of this, long tail keywords are untapped treasure mines, so go ahead and use more long tail keywords. Next, we have the Advanced Search Filter, which allows you to filter the list of related keywords to show only those you're interested in. Simply click here and you can choose to filter by search intent, search volume, keyword difficulty, and opportunity score. Here is where you can list specific words you want included or excluded. For example, let's say that I only want transactional keywords with a minimum search volume of 500 that has the word best in it. And there you go! You can also set your default search settings so that you don't have to set it up every time you're doing keyword research. Click on your profile, then go to the default search settings. Here, choose your location, language, and all these other settings. Then hit Save Changes. Then, whenever you're doing keyword research, just toggle here to apply the default search settings. This can be a huge time saver, especially if you have a specific set of requirements for your keywords. After you've identified your desired keywords, you can save them in a project, export them, or copy the clipboard. Start by selecting your keywords by checking on the boxes. To select all, check this box at the top. To save your selected keywords in a project, click on this file icon. You can choose from existing projects or create a new one. You can then access the saved keywords in the planner. To export or copy the clipboard, again, select your desired keywords, click on the export icon here, and choose your desired format. To save and open your keywords in Excel or Google Sheets, you can export as CSV. To get a comprehensive white label report to share with your team or clients, you can export as PDF. To simply copy the keywords, click on copy the clipboard and paste them wherever you want. On the right panel here is the SERP analyzer which helps you do competitive analysis. It shows data from the top 10 pages ranking for your seed keyword. This is the visual summary of the data which you can also customize from the drop down here. At the bottom here is the top ranking pages and their data. Clicking on any result gives you the content brief of the page which you can use as inspiration for your own content. Clicking on the URL will open that page for you. Next, we have the Topic Clusters tab which groups related keywords into clusters and shows the data overview for the keywords. You can also sort the topic clusters in different ways with this drop-down menu then choose to sort by increasing or decreasing order. Clicking on a topic cluster then shows you the list of keywords along with their metrics. Topic clusters help you in two ways. First, it helps you get content ideas for in-depth topic coverage and ultimately, topical authority. And second, it helps you maintain organized and interconnected content through internal links that connect pillar pages and the supporting cluster content. And finally, we have the bulk keyword research tool, my personal favorite. It's separate from the main keyword research tool but returns the same keyword data you get in the main tool. Simply head to the bulk keyword research by clicking here. The bulk keyword research tool allows you to research up to 500 keywords at once. So if you already have a list of keywords, this is your lifesaver. There are three ways to use it. First, you could type your keywords one by one. After typing one, hit enter or return and type your next keyword in the next line. Second, if you already have a list of keywords, you can copy paste them here. Third, if you have a CSV file containing your keywords, click import CSV and upload your file. Then, hit Research Keywords and you get all your keyword data on the right here. Just like the main tool, you can sort, filter, save to project, and export. And that's the full breakdown of the keyword research tool and every feature you can use. To learn how to do keyword research to get the best keywords, check out the video where I outline the 5-step process and more. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.
I'll see you in the next one.